Have you identified your obstacles? Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. Today, we're gonna to be talking a little bit about obstacles as opposed to a lot of the goal setting that we discuss on a regular basis. And first, I wanna remind you about dreambizchat.com. At dreambizchat.com, uh, you can go and watch a video that's specifically designated and designed for people in the self-reliance field. So if you're a decision maker, a, a business owner, an executive of a company that serves the self-reliance niche, meaning you help people to become more self-reliant through your products and services, you're going to want to check out dreambizchat.com. Link is in the description and it will tell you all about the dream business transformation. So go check that out and let me know what you think. Now, let's talk about obstacles. Uh, a lot of times when people are laying out where they're going for a certain period of time, if they're really, really sharp, they're good at designing where they want to go. So they're at this point right now, they wanna go over here next. The problem is, uh, I, I think one of the most common issues that stops a person is they're not able to identify their obstacles ahead of time. And they don't even try. They just focus on, it's all about focusing on the positive. We're just looking to get there. Don't let anything get us in our way and everything else. And that I think is oftentimes a mistake. Uh, and it's not that obstacles are really all that big of a deal. The problem is, is that we ignore them too long and they turn into something else and they become something unwielding that you can't really handle or that you end up having to bring someone else in to be able to handle for you. Now, what I'd suggest, and this is part of the process I take business owners through that I call the Worthington Method, and in within the Worthington Method, one of the main things that we do is we sit down and we identify obstacles to achieving the goals that you're looking to get. So the, the top thing that business owners do is they won't create a goal that's set in stone that says, hey, we're gonna get from point A, where we're at, to point B, where we wanna go, and we're going to get there in a very specific period of time. They don't do that. But if you are doing that, then this is the second step that you'll probably miss, and that's sitting down and identifying obstacles to getting there. So you've gotta get your whole team, everybody that you could possibly think of that you're gonna be working with in, that, that's to, in order to achieve this goal, whatever the goal may be, however long the time may be, I don't care if it's a year from now or if it's in a few weeks, whoever you're gonna be working with, whether it's just you or whether it's family members or whether it may be a couple other friends that might be able to help you brainstorm, what you wanna do is sit down with some people that are on board with you getting that goal. Let's just say it that way. It's either mutually helpful to them or they, they, they're not against it. They could see that it's possible and they believe that you can get it. And then you sit down and you say, what are all the things that could possibly get in our way? Or what are the things that are currently getting in our way or have gotten in our way in the past? And you have to sit there and brainstorm. And this isn't something that's done often enough. And I, I honestly have a whiteboard that I pull up. I know it's old fashioned, but I pull up a dry erase whiteboard and I will sit there and I will write out everything that we can come up with that could be possibly be an obstacle. And then you try and loop some of those things together, you know, the ones that are kind of all in the same category and kind of rename it. Get kind of those things piled down to five, maybe 10 main obstacles, maybe even less. It all depends on what your goal is. And then from there, you gotta really dig down and say, what are our ways around these obstacles? If they arrive, if they're actually there, if this is really the problem, and you start talking out each specific scenario of how you would go about handling each of those obstacles. Some of those obstacles may not ever show up, and you don't have to worry too much about them, you don't have to think too much about them, but having them thought out ahead of time will give you confidence to be able to move forward. It'll give you a little bit of a fearlessness in order to be able to take the next steps, all the necessary steps that are gonna, are gonna be necessary for you to get to your goal. 
So hopefully that's helpful for you. It's, it's simple. These are simple ideas. These are very principle-based ideas, but they're, it's the simple things that trip people up in their, in their journey to a very specific goal. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a, uh, of, a, of a concept to be able to chew on, maybe something you can run by your team members. And like I said, go check out dreambizchat.com. We also have these every single day. So you just come on back to wherever you're seeing this, or you can check out all the old videos or listen to the old audios over at brianjpombo.com. We also have a link below that you can click on, probably in the description. If it's not there now, it should be there in the future, but there'll be a link there that'll take you directly to a page, which is nothing but numbered episodes going all the way through. We're almost to episode 300, so we've been doing quite a few here, and we plan to keep doing it over and over again every day just for you. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.